Its popularity was also its demise. Now Jefferson County is shutting down most of the Elk Meadow off-leash dog park for the first week of April. The county says the park was overused and it's no longer safe for dogs and their owners. Nine News reporter Anusha Roy joins us now to explain. Anusha, what happened? Well, Whitney, this is a conversation that's certainly not over quite yet. Jefferson County, they've held some public meetings about this and they are still in the process of looking for another location to set up an off-leash dog park as they're gearing up to shut down most of the current one in just a few weeks. Out here, it's about dogs having their freedom. She comes out here and gets to be like a, an animal roaming free with her, with her like best friends. Around 200,000 people think like Joe Kramer yep. every year. <laughs> I went through a lot of these. He's aware popularity is playing a role in shutting down most of the off-leash dog area at Elk Meadow Park April 4th because Jefferson County Open Space says it's been used and abused. We ended up picking up like five bags of, of stuff that wasn't ours. Part of the problem is so much dog waste was left here. The county says it contaminated a stream with E. coli and bacteria. The soil is also eroding and the natural vegetation trampled. The county saying it's no longer safe for dogs and their owners. They just couldn't handle and, and, and stand up to the, to the amount of use that we had. It seems unnecessary. I mean, if the stream's being polluted, then I understand that, but it doesn't seem unsafe. She'd love to be free. But Melody Brill says that freedom came at a cost as she was walking in a different part of the park where dogs have to be on a leash. We, for years, have cleaned our dog's feet after going to that dog park. And supports the county's plan to keep a few acres open for off-leash use as it looks for other park locations. I hope they're not just, like, shutting it down forever. But I think it's important that people um, take this place seriously. The county says that starts with cleaning up this land. There's the poop. Jefferson County says that it could cost as much as $400,000 to restore the trampled vegetation, the eroding soil, and the contaminated water. Volunteers helped pick up around 1,000 pounds of waste in just six months. The county saying roughly seven acres will still be open for off-leash use come April. Whitney? Anusha, it's a story that sort of makes you giggle, but it's actually a really serious problem. Yeah, so. I, I know it seems funny because yeah. you're talking about dog waste, you're talking about dog poop, let's just be frank. But at the end of the day, it's a stream that w the county is saying is contaminated with E. coli, and right. that stream is flowing into other bodies of water, so they're paying close attention to it. I know. We warned people. We warned them. But what are you going to do? It's so popular. Mm -hmm. Anusha, thanks.